I think that people have been questioning the continuing relevance of this law for some time now. I think that um, if you read the scholarly literature, you'll see a lot of words like death and dying and ossification and moribund. Um, I think there's been a real lot diminishing of confidence in the board. I think this debate over labor law reform is very welcome after so many decades of congressional silence. The debate is extremely rancorous. Uh, both sides are spending a lot of money to try to persuade the public and Congress of their point of view. Um, there are very different visions of reality and history that is coming out of this debate. But I still think it's a welcome debate. I am hopeful that going forward it won't be every 60 years to revisit the law. Um, so that's in terms of Congress. I, I think that we are only going to see comprehensive labor law change coming from Congress. Looking just at the board itself, I think, as I've said, we can have a more dynamic approach to the law, a more rigorous approach to the law, um, less kind of formalistic and static, and more looking at workplace realities to try to keep it current. Nonetheless, if you have the existing statute and you have constant court review and you have 75 years of precedent that you have to navigate, I don't think that the board on its own, no matter who sits here, can really effectuate fundamental change in labor law. I think we can make meaningful changes, but much more modest, much more incremental. Um, so it, it remains to be seen what, what the future is. I'd like to think that the principles of this law are, are as vital today as they were 75 years ago, and that we can find a way to keep the law uh, relevant. I think it's important to our democracy and to our economy to keep this law working.